regional conference in the Pacific Northwest at the University of Washington. At first I thought that maybe I was mistaken for a Chicana because of my name, right? So I kind of, I had to explain, I thought, I'm sorry, but I'm not a Chicana. Because, um, you know, I get phone calls from, from uh, you know, usually from call centers. Maybe they're from here, I don't know. Of Les Banyol, no, no, no. <laughs> anyway, so I had to explain I was not a Chicana. And it turns out that they did want me to speak. And they wanted me to speak about class. So as, as I said, this was this time, about this time last year. And I think that's, it's a good thing. Because there, there now are groups of people who are recognizing that we have to deal once more with what should be critical to our consciousness at this moment in history. But I also mention this because since I was asked to talk about you know, in the Chicano conference, I, I had to educate myself. I, of course, I've talked about Chicano women, you know, classes of women of color and so on, but I did not know enough about Chicano studies as such, so I had to give myself a crash course in Chicano Studies 101. And in the course of my study, what I discovered was that the very same problems I saw in Philippine studies marked Chicano studies. I, 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 I thought it was incredible. All I needed to do was to substitute the Philippines for Mexico. And this is because I discovered a book. I discovered a book by Gonzalez and Fernandez titled I think a century of Chicano history, in which they critiqued some of the key pieces of writing in Chicano studies. And they saw the exact same tendencies, the same exact same backward tendencies in Chicano studies that I found in, in, in 